Nigeria, say Peter Obi, Peter Obi, she make us a Obi, ah ah Peter Obi. Nigeria, say Peter Obi, chip international Peter. Peter Obi, His Excellency Peter Obi, the man of the people, the man loved by almost everybody in the country yes so you can see how people are campaigning for him even using their own money you can see so many things that people are doing for this man because other political parties they use the they use the public fund to do campaign to even bribe people to vote for them but this is a man loved by the people loved by the masses people are willing to donate their hard-earned money to him people are willing to campaign for him people are willing to print um posters banner billboard you know people are even going to the extent of doing evangelism for him guys i think this is the right time for us to get it right because another eight years in this country if we get it wrong in 2023 in fact i don't even wish us to get it wrong because if you can see now people are voting candidates not party and the three major political party that is out now apc pdp and a, a labor party in the three major candidates that we are saying now peter obi is the best peter obi is the most competent person among the three major candidates now eh? okay you said in nigeria and eh, 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 when we when we are primary school they say they, there is this song we used to sing when we are in primary school parents listen to your children we are the leaders of tomorrow try and pay our school fees and give us sound education but what is happening now when the old ones have refused to retire how will the children become leaders of tomorrow when the old ones that are close to the uh, six that are close to six feet have refused to leave power have refused to leave the power have refused to retire for the leaders of tomorrow to take over when the old ones have refused to have refused to leave power alone, when the old ones have refused to retire for the children to take over, for the children to take over the future of this country, for the children to take over leaders, leadership position, when the old ones that are supposed to be taking care of their grandchildren have refused to step aside for their children to take over, eh? Parent, listen to my children. Listen to your children. We are the leaders of tomorrow. That song that we used to sing in primary school. Do you know that even the leaders, eh? People that are even leading us when we are in primary school. Now they are still in power. Now they are still in strategic leadership position in the country. How will the children take over when the old ones have refused to leave power? How will the children take over the leadership position in the country? Guys, please, this man Peter Obi is the man, is the man that is the man for the people. He is a selfless man that God has sent to deliver us in Nigeria. He's a selfless man that you know he have joy because he said he is not desperate to be a president, he's only desperate to see Nigeria work. This is a man that is ready to work for the people. This is the man that is not ready to embezzle public funds like other political parties that are what they are after in this so-called power of a thing is how to embezzle public public money how to share the national how to share the national cake because how will one percent of 200 million people living in nigeria be controlling nigeria's wealth how will nigeria's wealth be controlled by one percent of people in the country eh? okay look at now for since february say now asu is on strike but their own children is schooling outside the country asu is on strike since february say now and they are buying from 100 million naira, collecting allowance, doing so many things. Eh? Not that they don't have the money, they have the money, but they have refused to settle these lecturers. They have they want these lecturers. Is it easy? Eh? 
the agreement you you reach out you you you, you promise them i think 2009 or is it 2000 either 2009 or 1999 that you they reach agreement to to or all what they will do to this asu or what they will give to them up to now the agreement has not been fulfilled that is the reason for this strike now look look at our lecture look at our doctors well, after spending nine years in the, after spending seven years in the university and coming out of and come and graduating from the university, how much is their salary? Even somebody that is doing mechanic, eh? Somebody doing roadside mechanic is even richer than the so-called doctor. Is even we, we we even be making more money than the so-called doctor that 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 studied a professional course in the university, studied a professional course and be collecting chicken change, in the name of salary. Eh? When Nigerians travel outside the country, most of them they are doing exploits. They are doing ex exploit out abroad, representing Nigeria when outside the country, but in their own country, the condition they find themselves in their own, own country is not favorable. The government have refused to, you know, have refused to make their lights shine. <laughs> Ninety percent of PDP governors, they are from the south, south south, southeast, and southwest. Alobi is a Christian from the south. The Yibos are desperate and determined to win this time, even if they are going to waste their vote. So that means Atiku has never won from the north because they don't like him in the north. He's always been using our votes from these two, three regions to do to Gao to Buga. Now, nah, Obi don't take them. Last election, Obi won by 90% in Anambra and 85% in Igbo land and South South. So technically, the Muslim Muslim is not going to affect Tinumbu. It's going to affect Atiku because he's Muslim too. He hijacked the party. Technically, Obi don't kill PDP. Uh, some people even accuse you of buying your way through to get to the ticket. But I know the kind of person you are, you could clarify to us whether or not this is true. Say, say, we, say we have, we have the, the freest primary in labor. Remember, the frontliner in labor party was Professor Pat Tommy. Who, before... Everybody, every delegate in that election primary resigned and said that he's stepping down since he has found that a younger person, more energetic, competent, has the other capacity, is coming on board. It was an open primary monitored by ENEC. And the participation was free, fair, and credible. Everybody can tell you. And you know me. Of course, if you buy something or you paid money, there's no way you, bring, you do money transaction in Nigeria that people wouldn't know. And I'm not one of those who will do that. You know, I, I'm very sure you must have heard what uh, the kind of uh, the stories are telling about you. Uh, that Obi will not pay anything. 
Uh, there are those even who said that uh, uh, one of the reasons that you, you left was that you were not ready to, buy, to pay delegates. In their own country, Nigeria, which God has blessed with so many natural resources and the bad leaders are sitting on top of it, saving all the money for their children, their grandchildren, in fact, their sixth generation. How will a old presidential aspirant own private jet? How did he get the money if not for if not if not for public fund? How did he get the money to buy private jets if not public fund? What is the source of what is what is the source of income? Hmm? How is somebody a four year somebody somebody that is supposed to read a four year course in a Nigerian university? We end up uh, we end up um, doing a four year course for six years because of strike. Four years course, you hardly see somebody gaining admission into a public Nigerian university if into a four year course and spend four year four year course and spend four years in it. It is very very rare now. What they spend now is six years, seven years due to strike. And even after spending six to seven years and graduating, what do they do? They end up being Okada rider, which has now been banned. Okada has now been banned in so many states in Nigeria. They end up becoming Okada rider. Some end up um, doing POS machine. A graduate. Some that even some even after finishing their BSc, we still go ahead do masters. At the end of the day, nothing to write to me about. Master degree holder doing nothing. Doing nothing. It's only in Nigeria. It's only in Nigeria that people that are not qualified are put in strategic position. Unqualified, unqualified people. All these politicians using their friends, family that are not qualified and be putting them in strategic posi position to run Nigeria economy. Please let's get this right because this man Peter Obi has proven beyond. I'm not saying he's a saint, too, but in the three major aspirants now, he's the best and is the most qualified. And concerning the issue of saints, nobody is a saint apart from God Almighty. Apart from God Almighty, but among the three major presidential aspirants now, between APC, PDP, and Labour Party is the best, which Peter Obi is representing. He's a selfless man. He's a man for the people. Please, let's get it right. Whatever it is that we need to do, let us do it to support this man, Peter Obi. And come to think of it, a full man just which is a Mbuari, will be ending his eight years ten of February next year. And look at it now. How will a full man just finish eight year ten? And PDP is an uh, article, which is another full man. We like want to take over. We are, how are they uniting the because Nigeria because the way Nigeria is now, Nigeria is not even working at all. It's not working at all. Oh. Anybody telling you things are working is 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 a big lie. Nigeria is not working at all. So it is not proper for a northern should to end up his tenor of eight years and another northern and take over it is not bringing unity in the country and it's not also proper where uh, under democracy we've had obasanjo who, who has ruled nigeria for eight years under democracy and also under buhari we have a a, a yoruba man who, who is also the vice president of nigeria for eight years so really, if to unite this country is the best is for somebody from the eastern part of the country to take over, at least we bring unity because Nigeria, we are not, at the moment now, there is no unity. It will bring unity to the country. So right now, eh, since the Northern have been, in fact, the Northern have, have even been taking charge for many years. I can't even count how many presidents the Northern the, the northerners have, have even produced. But the easterner, but the easterner since democracy till now, no president, no vice president, since democracy till now. But the Yorubas have the, the Yorubas, which is the southwest, they've produced a a, a, a a Yoruba president which ruled Nigeria for eight years. And now a Yoruba vice president for which also ruled for another eight years. 
So is the proper thing is that to bring unity to the country is for an Igbo man to be the president. Because I have not witnessed Igbo presidency, no vice presidency. Whatever we need to do, let's do it. Whatever we need to do, let's do it. Let's support this man, Peter Obi. Let him become the presidential candidate next year because he's the best man for the job. He's absolutely the best for the job. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>